Today we're going to talk about resetting an inverter. Before in our other videos we've talked about how to test the circuits for the input to an inverter and we've checked how to test the output of an inverter. Now both those are very important but if we do have an inverter that is shut off we need to know how to reset it and turn it back on. There's a couple different inverter settings. The one we have today is our 1200-11-8 which means it has an 11.8 volt shutdown. Whenever those batteries drop down to 11.8 volts for more than 30 seconds, the inverter is going to actually shut off to protect the tractor batteries. We want to give drivers those home comforts, but we also we still got to make sure we protect the fleet from excessive battery drain and also jump starts. Right now, we have two green lights on the front of the inverter here. Two solid green lights as the inverter is on and working. So that's our first step. If that's the condition, we're done. We know the inverter is on. But we're going to use our power supply and we're going to adjust the voltage down below the 11.8. As soon as it sees that, that green light on top here should start blinking, saying it's going into a, a countdown. It has to see that voltage for more than 30 seconds. The reason that's done is we don't want to pick up just an engine crank or a short term load that drops our voltage, but it's not going to stay on. So we're trying to eliminate those false turnoffs simply because of an intermittent load. Now I'm going to adjust the power supply down to less than 11.8. Notice our green light is blinking. After 30 seconds, it is going to shut off and the red light's going to be on here. In order to reset it, there's two things we have to do. First, we need to use our voltmeter. We're going to turn it to voltage DC. We're going to connect it to the input here on the back of the inverter. We want to be able to make sure we're seeing exactly what the battery voltage is. We're going to crank up the voltage. We have to be over 13.3 volts at the input. That's what that control module has to see. With our voltmeter, you can see we have 13.33 volts. We're going to turn the switch off, turn it back on. Now we went back to two solid green lights. If you don't hit at least 13.3, the inverter will not reset. It's doing its job. It's trying to protect the truck from jump starts and excessive battery drain. Thank <laughs> you.